RF noise is a major problem for amateurs in built-up areas. Desired signals can often be hardly audible. Alternatives to using a home station antenna include a small loop or whip antenna. Today I'm testing a design by PA0RDT, a mini whip. The whole antenna element is on a piece of printed circuit board material. There's no extra loops or wires required. The RF is applied to the gate of a FET transistor. A J310 is specified, but I used an MPF102. The second transistor is a 2N2219, similar to PA3HDF, who built one of these as well. The antenna should be enclosed in a plastic container for weather protection. As it's a nice day though, I'm using it and testing it out in the open. At the end of the coax feed line is a DC power splitter that allows DC current to be fed up the feed line to power the amplifier. Into the splitter is applied 12 volts from the battery that you see here. You can hear the noise from the receiver with the power on and with it off it's much quieter. When first built the amplifier was self oscillating. That was most evident on frequencies of 80 meters and below. To fix that I added an extra capacitor, 10 microfarads 16 volts. That goes from the collector of the final transistor to the ground and is in parallel with an existing 100 nanofarad disc ceramic capacitor. While it's often suggested that having these antennas up in the clear provides better reception, it can be difficult to get antennas in the clear, especially if you're in a small unit. Gutters and other wires are often not far away. In some circumstances then, it may be better to have the antenna nearer the ground. Even if the signal level is lower, the signal to noise ratio may be better. The thing that's most noticeable is how sensitive the antenna is. The antenna is so sensitive that paving stones, or possibly the ground below it, seem to add to the signal. Just comparing the difference between concrete pavers that only slightly increase the received signal with ground cover, which dramatically does. Now another spot on the deck, the noise picks up and it's right near the brick wall. Brick walls are very very noisy. Near the guttering is much worse, it's obviously picking up a lot of other interference. Tune to an interstate station on 540 kilohertz. And the ground cover definitely shows its conductivity. But best of all is the loop. The ground can sometimes be the best place for an antenna. Here's 3CS on 1134 AM. Lowering it dramatically improves signal to noise ratio. Here's the signal on 7 MHz AM. It improves it a bit when the antenna is up near the feed line. The signal is clearly superior when the antenna is near the ground. Uh, 
touching the word there. Yeah. If someone was uh, trying to come up, it depends if we're free or we caught up with something else. There's also an AM net which I was on last night for some time, which is on Friday night that starts at 8.30 there. There was probably about a half a dozen stations up there last night. This is VK3 MCD Portable. Overall, the Mini Whip has proved an interesting project. It may improve reception in some circumstances. It's simple and cheap, so try it as there's nothing to lose.